I got Battle Pirates. Leave it on here, and I'm really, really happy to bring to you my Mercury review video. Uh, this is this actually put a lot of work into this video, and, and I really think I've, I've really tested this whole to the limit. Um, so as you all know, Great Country uh, Tier Four prize was a Mercury hull or an Akuda. And there's the yeah, there's the Mercury hull there, and uh, and I chose the Mercury. Um, I mean, the reason I chose the Mercury is because I really have the Akuda. But also, if you don't, if you don't have the Akuda, the Mercury is still the better choice because it, in the moment the Akuda is not really that that good in the game right now. So I think I think for anyone that had to pick, I think you know you should have picked the Mercury. Now, it's, if you look at his stats, it's a fleet versus fleet hull. You know, it's, it's, it's got some, some nice armor, some nice base armor. This cargo hull is pretty good. Um, it comes with a missile defense of 30% and a, a missile reload of 90%. A built in lasers, uh, so retargetable. Its combat speed is a bit on the low side if you, if you compare it to the interdictor, but it's got very nice turn speed and a good detection range. So, this fleet has just got. It's got fleet versus fleet written all over it. And looking at his, his defense and his bonus, I mean, it's not worth considering putting any other set on this as far as I'm concerned. If, if, you, if you don't even really consider ballistics, don't really consider anything else because it's a missile fleet, um, it's a missile hole. So that's exactly what you should be using it for. Okay, so the first the first little test we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna hit a, a salvage a nice easy starter to the video. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit against level 71 salvage, and this is an assault missile Mercury fleet. So obviously you know this should be a goal, but um, it's a good it's a good little uh, practice test just to see what it can do. And as you can see, I mean we can pretty much do what what any other fleet can do, what any other sort of assault missile salvage fleet can do. But you know what? When I first seen this hole advertised as a Drake and free prize. I wasn't really that excited about it. It didn't really look that good to me. It, I, you know, I just it, it just seemed sort of average in terms of status. But then after building them and, and playing around with them, I've got to say I absolutely love this hole. It's, it's in fact probably my favourite hole at the moment. I just I, I don't know. It just it feels like it's so much fun to use. It almost reminds me of back in the day when I first won Sea Scorpions. In, in Base Invaders 2, it just, it just, it's just got a real good fun factor about it. It's just enjoyable, and, and another great thing for me is it's not overpowered. And and I think quite often now with hull prizes, they're overpowered to the point where they require you to, to have. You don't need to have any skill to use them. You can just click a button and win, you know. And this hole, this hole doesn't have that. This isn't an I win button. It's a, it's a nice little hole with some nice little stats that you've got to work to use. You know, you've got to put a clever setup on them. Okay, so so as you can see, it demolished that, that salvage. So let's put it against interdictors. Now this interdictor set has got three assault torpedoes and four assault missiles per ship. And they're also max ranked. And my Mercuries have got two assault torps and four assault missiles. So in theory, I'm outpowered. So um, th th this was an interesting little test, and I know a lot of people requested this, um, and I wasn't very surprised at the results, because al although the interdictor has a slight, uh, a slightly advantage in terms of combat speed and resistance is built in, um, the, the Mercury has a higher armor value and an extra armor slot, and when you stack it up, it, it has a much higher armor value than the, uh, than the interdictor. So those benefits, those damage resistances that the interdictor has. Means nothing. It means nothing to you know. So of course I won. I won now with almost fifty percent health, as you see. So that was again, that was a bit of an easy test. So I thought, what next? You know, what else can we push him against? So now we're going to go against some assault missile MCXs. Now I'm not hundred percent sure on the set of on these, but I think it's four MCXs with five assault missiles each. So it's um. It's an equal. It's an equal test in terms of the fact that, that we've both got the same firepower. But what I'm going to, I think, what, what you'll see I do here is I manipulate my torpedoes, so I go in close. And obviously, because I'm faster, those MCXs can't run from me. Now those MCXs have a much higher armor value than my ships. And and, and in terms of the MCXs missile bonuses, you know, it, it's much higher, especially as defense value. 
<coughs> so in theory I'm sort of outpowered here. I'm outgunned and I'm outstacked. But my niche here is my ten assault troops. You, you're gonna see this on, 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 on this battle. So as you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm just staying in close to that. I mean, I'm making sure that I target one ship, one by one also, which is a good, good tactic for anyone that's doing fleet pursuit. Don't just let your ship drive. Actually click a ship and target it, because then all your ships, you'll kill that ship before, the, you know, before they, they, they might target two ships at the same time, if you don't. So always target a ship. That way, um, obviously, the quicker you kill each ship, the less amount of weapons are firing upon you. I'm sure most of you are there on that. So as you can see, four MCXs versus five Mercuries, and I've got three Mercuries left, which I was really surprised about that test. Really surprised. So I mean, these li these little ships, you know, they're very impressive, very impressive, and and just a big surprise that you could do that. So I thought let's take it up, let's take it a notch further. Let's take the Mercuries, and let's test them against some siege missile. Now this is a, a siege missile MCX, so it's got siege missile apps and it's got four strike missiles per ship. So it's got 20 strike missiles, 10 siege missiles against my assault missile Mercuries. So I'm massively outpowered now, and I'm pretty sure that this is this is um, this is a, a mirror copy of, of my Halo base loot. So um, I know that it's stacking very high missile resistance. We're talking like 70%, 72%. And I think I, I make the mistake here of letting, uh, letting them come into range and then we'll see once they do. Obviously, siege missiles just you know, pack a punch. I mean, so that's some pretty good tests for it though. I mean, it, you know, it can, it's a, it can salvage for free, but you know, most fleets can do that. You can take down interdictors, you can take down assault missile MCXs. And obviously, you know, you get variations in builds, but. The build that, 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 that went against my my Mercury's and, and the assault missiles, they were they were um, they were a very similar similar match to fleet. In this case I'm massively outgunned and you can see that here. But still it's a good test, it's a good test for them and, and I, I was glad I did this. Now I think if you were if you were if I was a slightly more clever pilot, or clever driver now, I probably could have kept them out of range a bit more. But again, it was it was a good test of what what the capable of doing and some surprising results. Okay, so now we're going to uh, we're going to take the test even further. As I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, how do they fare against how do they fare against their subs? In particular, Spectres, because they're very you know, commonly used somewhere in this game. So right, let's see. So these are Siege Torp Spectres versus my Assault Missile Murphys. And look at that! Straight away, they're detecting them. It's almost, almost in my range, in my ninth, ninth to sixth range. They're, they're detecting them instantly. I mean, I, I, I was stupid there because if I had just turned around, they would the Siege Torps wouldn't even come in range. You know, and there's not lasers on this thing. So. I mean, look, they're just tearing them apart. And that's a few seconds and 20 hour repair on spectrum. So, uh, as you can see, very, very impressive with regards to, uh, to their sub capabilities. So, um, so, again, I got to thinking, you know, what else can these ships do? I mean, they're, su they're such a cool little, little ship. And, uh, and with the missile bonuses, I thought, well, you know, why not take advantage of that? Why not go even another step further? Why not make a base fleet? So you've just seen clips from my, from my fleet recently, and then I, I decided to make a base fleet. Um, and here is just a little a little sample of, of what they can do. I mean, this in this clip, this base this base is fairly easy, admittedly. There's no guard fleet in it, but I have stacked this fleet with like 66% missile resistance. They, they this fleet could take a halo base. This fleet could could sit in a base and kill some guards. You're not gonna bash down the doors. Of you know of a level seventy player you know with, with Goliaths and siege cannons you know you're not going to do that but I mean it's it's a fleet it's a fleet ship it's a tiny little boat and I'm storming bases with it I mean how much fun is that I'm just going to run around and just blitz fifty all day long with the ship and just mock them and taunt I mean this is just 
it's just very impressive that this, this ship can do this and, and the combat speed is faster than MCX so I can dodge Halo fire, I can dodge VM fire, I can dodge it a lot easier than I can in my MCX you know it's it, it's not as powerful as an MCX it doesn't have as, as much firepower, it, it, it doesn't have as much armor, it doesn't have as much resistance but it's still very good you know it can still do the job and, uh, and I've got to say, it just it just impressed me over and over and over again this whole. And you know, as I say, I just totally fell in love with it. I mean, to me, it's, it's probably you know one of my favourite whole releases since the M6 by far. Um. So you know, I, I decided to um to push it further. And if you check below, or if you check on my YouTube channel, what I actually did with that that set that you just see now hit the base. I decided to, to, to take that set and see if it was capable of winning the Drake Hunt and to, to track it, what cost it would, it would take to do it. So I've actually got videos up and I may have them posted together with, with this video and if not you can click this link, go into my YouTube channel and you'll see the videos. There's four videos in total. The first video is me hitting tier 1 to 20 and so on and so on. So the second video is from the 20 to 3 etc etc and, and you'll see that I use this whole to, to go straight into the Drake Raid and complete the Drake Raid. I, did it, I used it to get the event mastery. And, uh, and it, the, the total cost was 439 coins. Now that is a little on the high side for me in terms of, of how much a raid normally costs me. Normally a raid would cost me about 150 coins in my MCSs. I mean, I haven't, I haven't tracked it this raid, but it's, it's always around that figure. Really. And this raid wasn't, wasn't too much different. So, it, I mean, I think, that's a, I think that's a reasonable price as far as I'm concerned. For $34 to, to win that tier 5 prize. Some people may say that's expensive, some people may not. But as far as I'm concerned, I, I think that's, that's a pretty good going. Especially considering that this hole is a, is a relatively low armored for this big hole. Um, and and my, my summary of this hole is, I love it. You know, I think it's a fantastic hole. And, and <coughs> Excuse me. It's a great addition to, to anyone's, anyone's fleet, and I really recommend that you build it. You know, I, I fell in love with this hole, and I'm just going to be, I'm going to be using it non-stop now for, for the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's fast, it's versatile, it's, it's powerful. It, it, it can do so many different. You can attack bases, you can play raids, you can keep this fleet, you can kill yourself. It's like an all-in-one package, and it's just, it's just so much fun to use. As far as I'm concerned, you know, the graphics look cool. And as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the best holes I've seen in the last five months. So it's a big thumbs up for me, big thumbs up for Kickside. And, and yeah, I, I mean, it's just a great hole, and I can't, I can't, I can't say enough about it. Um, so yeah, I put, I put a lot of time into these videos. You know, it is, um, it is a labour of love for me, but I hope you do enjoy it, and, uh, and I hope, you, you know, you find the advice useful. Um, and as I say, there, there's, there's about five videos in total regarding my review on this. And you can check that on my YouTube channel. And I really appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the positive comments and the positive feedback. And uh, stay tuned for some more stuff coming up. And if, if in the future you um you have some ideas about possibly some other reviews you might want me to do, or maybe some other uh, some other features we can do on, on the channel, drop me some messages, and, and you know we'll see what we can do. If, if it's some flutes I've already got. You know, we, we can do that. And if, if maybe you want to see the next raid, if you want to see the MCX do the raid, then, you know, if enough people want it, I'll film it and they'll do it, you know? Anyway, thanks thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. I know you've been waiting for it for some time. Uh, Lil Nut and I know.